Good day, I'm Benjamin Franklin, and welcome to our fair city of Philadelphia. We're on the steps of the First Bank of the United States. It was in this exact spot that we established the independent banking institution for our new country. This brave effort to create a central banking system was championed by Alexander Hamilton, the first Secretary of the Treasury, right here in this structure. Since colonial times, Philadelphia has grown into a vibrant center for financial services activities. This city is home to some of the nation's largest financial services companies. There are more than 15 business schools in this region offering finance degrees. Each year, over 16,000 citizens of this area graduate with a finance degree. And near and dear to my heart, there are over 200 endowments and foundations headquartered in the Philadelphia area. I was once quoted as saying, if a man empties his purse into his head, no man can take it away from him. An investment in knowledge always pays the best interest. That is why I am a strong proponent of the Chartered Financial Analyst designation. CFA Charter holds itself without peer. Through intense rigors of the CFA exam, the charter holders are proven to be knowledgeable leaders in the financial services industry. The CFA Society of Philadelphia contributes to the vibrancy of our financial community through quality programming, community outreach, and CFA exam preparation. Employers and clients around the world are increasingly seeking out CFA charter holders often making the charter a prerequisite for employment. The CFA charter means a symbol of integrity, best practices, fiduciary responsibility, ethics, leadership, technical mastery, dedicated to transparency, aptitude and commitment, gold standard. The CFA charter provided me with an opportunity that I normally wouldn't have. I used to be a trader on the trading floor and I was looking to expand my horizons and by getting the charter I was able to move to a productive position outside of the trading floor. To sum up the CFA charter, I would just put it this way, life changing. I wanted a way to uh, develop a kind of a more comprehensive knowledge of of finance and investments. It, the charter was, was a good way for me to do that. CFA charter holders uh, enjoy a sense of credibility as soon as they walk in the door. The CFA charter has been a huge source of confidence. You know they didn't obtain the charter through luck or chance, that they obtained it because they really had a comprehension of the material and understand how everything is interconnected across multiple disciplines. People in the business know that you master uh, a body of, of knowledge and the technical skills, and you're acknowledged to have an ethical grounding. It's really an investment in yourself and in your professional career. CFA charter holders and candidates are bound to a strict set of ethical codes and standards. These standards serve as the benchmark for investment professionals around the globe. You're committing immediately to abiding by a code of ethics which is different from a lot of programs or other designations. Without this commitment to high ethical standards, I don't think it's possible to be successful in the investment management business and earn and keep the trust of your clients. It is incumbent upon us as charter holders to continue to act with integrity in order to restore the public's trust in the investment community. There needs to be a level playing field for all participants. I ultimately just want to be a good example uh, to my friends, family, and business partners uh, to show them uh, the prudent ways to uh, make investment uh, decisions. The CFA Code of Ethics dictates that professionals place the integrity of their service and the interests of their clients above their own interests. It strengthens one's resolve to act with integrity, competence, and respect and impresses upon the CFA charter holder that continuing to maintain and develop professional competence is simply good business. The Society's 2,000 members represent the best and brightest of the region's financial services industry. The CFA Society of Philadelphia localizes all the principles and concepts set forth in the charter. I never really considered myself a joiner of clubs, but earning the charter has really made me feel like a member of a larger global community. It's not something that you get a charter and then you're out of it. You have to continuously evolve and keep learning what's, what are the latest trends in the industry. Being involved in the CFA Society of Philadelphia means continuing a tradition of educating the investment community for decades to come. 
Since 1943, the CFA Society of Philadelphia has promoted the CFA designation for the betterment of the region's financial community. From its humble roots along Chestnut Street to the modern, gleaming buildings of Center City and beyond, the Philadelphia investment community has become a driving force for growth and prosperity in the region. And for 70 years, the CFA Society of Philadelphia has led the way in promoting professionalism, integrity, and knowledge. So I pose this question. What does the future hold for the Philadelphia investment community? Better said, what is the future of finance in Philadelphia? I am the future of finance. 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 I am Chris Tidmore, president of the CFA Society of Philadelphia, and we are the future of finance.